Welcome back. So in this video, we're going to continue showing you how to draw to an OLED screen. So when you're dealing with basic LCD screens, all you can really do is simply print text to the screen. So a certain number of characters across, a certain number of rows, you can do A, B, C, D, E, one, two, three, you can do exclamation points, that types of thing, but you really cannot design a user interface to any great degree. You can basically just put text on an LCD screen. The cool the cool part about an OLED screen is that it essentially is just a very simple monitor. When you draw to it or when you print to it, you can come up with your own unique interfaces for your users that are totally original to you. So you can uh, draw text or you can print text to an OLED screen, not just print it, but print it in different sizes. You can print it in different fonts. You can print bitmap images. And what we're going to show you how to do today is you can actually draw uh, shapes onto the screen in order to do things such as give your projects like little borders for the user interface or basically be able to differentiate different components on the OLED screen to make it easier for people to view. Think about drawing shapes on an OLED screen much like CSS if you're dealing with HTML or web pages. This is just simply a way to give a little a little baboom uh, to your Arduino project and make it easier for people to understand what they're supposed Supposed to be looking at and what's going on. So with that, let's go over to the workbench. I'll show you how this particular project was put together, and then more importantly, we importantly we'll go to the code, and then uh, we'll bring it all together and show you how this works. So we're using the standard 128 by 64 OLED screen that we've been using for most of these projects. And this is an I2C or an I squared C screen. So it uses the I2C communication protocol. So for communication, all you need is two data wires. So you have SDA, SDA runs to A4 on your Arduino board, SCL runs to A5 on your Arduino board, and then we're pulling five volt power for the screen and then being connected to ground. So this is all that's required to connect this screen for this particular project. Uh, the same basic thing we've done for all of these OLED screen projects. So now let's dig into the code for how to draw shapes on an OLED screen. So basically what we're going to be doing with this particular project is the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to draw a line, then we are going to draw a rectangle, then we are going to draw a circle, then we are going to draw a triangle, and then to show you how you can layer all of these shapes on top of each other to create an image or even an animation, we are then actually going to put multiple things on the screen at once one time. So let's go and take a look at what's required in order to code for this project. So we're going to need the wired.h library. So that is included with the Arduino IDE. And then we need these two Adafruit li uh, libraries, Adafruit SSD 1306. So you can go to tools, you can go to manage libraries, and you can add that from there. And then the Adafruit GFX. Again, do make sure when you're dealing, dealing with the projects that I'm showing you that you install the Adafruit SSD 1306 library. There are other SSD 1306 libraries out there, um, but the code that we're using only works with the Adafruit one. So make sure you use those particular libraries. Then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to define the OLED width and we're going to define the OLED height. So this is a 128 pixel by 64 pixel screen. So we define those there. Then the next thing that we need to do is we need to define the OLED address. So again, I2C or I squared C protocol is an addressable protocol. What that means is you can have something like up to 100, I think it's 127 devices using two wires for communication. But the way that the Arduino differentiates between all those uh, devices is by their address. So you do need to make sure you know what the address of your OLED screen is. Uh, you can use the I2C scanner project that we did previously, if you don't know what it is, uh, to find out what it is. So this particular OLED is 0x3C. Then we're going to come down here. We're going to use the Adafruit underscore SSD 1306, and then we're going to create a display. So this is the reference name. You could call this OLED. You could call this OLED display. You could call this OLED underscore display. This is simply how we are going to be referencing the display uh, when we start drawing to it down here. And then we're going to plug in the OLED width and the OLED height so it knows what the size of the display is. Then all we're going to do is come down here, and we're going to set up the environment. And all we're going to be doing to set up the environment is we're going to do display. So we're referencing this display. So whatever you've called this, 
you put that here, dot begin. So we now start beginning the service, SSD 1306 underscore blah, blah, blah. And then we give it the OLED address. So we're going to dot begin. We're going to call this with this address. And then this will be essentially begin the OLED service. And that's all we're doing for the setup for this particular project. Now we are going to go into the loop. The first thing that we're gonna do in the loop is we are going to draw a line. Um, so to draw a line, what we need to do is we need to do display dot clear display. So the clear display function, this, this takes everything off the display. Basically, this deletes everything on the display. Remember, you need to do this when you're dealing with, uh, with screens with an Arduino, because if you turn something on, you need to also turn it off. Don't think things automatically happen. So you have to manually say that it has to happen. So what we're going to do is we're going to clear to display. We're going to clear it. So it's just going to be black. And then once it's black, then we're going to go display. And then we use this function, draw a line. So the draw a line function, what this does is it draws a line from point A to point B. Uh, when you see these four numbers here, what these are, these are the X and Y axis. This is the first point on the X and Y axis, and this is the second point. So basically we're going to go from this point to this point. Draw a line from here to here. So the X, the x-axis is across, so this is 128 pixels across. So you can do from 0 to 127. Do remember when you're dealing with uh, with these screens, whether you're dealing with L LCD screens or the OLED screens, the first position is actually uh, designated as position 0. So if you have 128 pixels, that means you can designate between 0 to 127. 0 to 127 equals 128. So this is the x and this is the Y. So you can go from 0 to 127 across and from 0 to 63 down. So what we're simply going to say is in the first position in the upper left hand corner, start this line at 0 across, 0 down, the very first position up there, all the way up in the corner, we want to start the line. Then what we want to do is we want to go to the position that is 90 pixels over, 90 pixels uh, to the right if you're looking at the screen, and then 30 pixels down. So it's going to find where that position is, and then it is going to draw a line between these two places. Uh, and so you can go, and you can go, and you can play with this and see, see, you know, how to make different lines, make straight lines, make diagonal lines. What we're going to be doing, this is going to be a diagonal line that goes about halfway down the screen, just to kind of give you an idea of how this works. Uh, then you say, what color do you want uh, the line to be drawn in? So if you're dealing with a monochrome screen, so the screen that we're dealing with today basically is a monochrome screen, you either have black or white. White uh, basically means the pixel is lit up, so whatever color that is, it's lit up. Uh, black means it's, it's black. Right, so we're going to say uh, white. So we, we're going to have this going from the upper left hand corner eh, to about the middle of the screen, and we want to print it in white. Then the next thing that we need to do is display dot display again. This is the reference display, this could be called OLED or something else. The main thing here is we're calling this display a function. So all of this gets loaded into the OLED's memory, but it does not actually get written to the screen until you call this function. So you have to call the dot display function in order to write it to the screen. And then we're just simply going to delay for 2,000 milliseconds or two seconds to show you that little line. And then we're going to come down. Display dot clear display. So we're going to erase the line that we put on the display. Um, and then we are going to draw a rectangle. So display, draw rect. And so then we have to say where we are starting the rectangle. So we say the, the second position across. So we're going to create like a little border here. So zero is the first position, one is the second position. So one, so second position on the x axis is one, second position on the y axis uh, is down. So, so basically two across, two down is where we start the rectangle. And then we're going to say what the width is. So with this cool little function here, we're going to do display dot width. And so this can actually tell us what the width of the display is. And all we're going to do is we're going to just simply say display.width minus two. So it's going to figure out how, how wide the uh, OLED screen is. So it's 128. And then it's simply going to 
subtract 2, so that's 126. Uh, so that'll put it at the 125th position. So this will give us a nice little border. And so what we're going to do is display dot width minus 2. So it'll be that, that wide. So I could put in 10 here. I could put in 20 here. I could put in 50 here. I'm just using this particular function. And then display dot height minus 2. So this will figure out how, how tall, how high the display is, and it will subtract 2. And so it will create a rectangle of that size. And then, of course, we are going to print this out in white so it actually shows up. Then we need to call the display.display .display function, or it's really the display function, referencing whatever we've called the display. And that will print out a rectangle onto the screen, and then we will delay by 2,000 milliseconds or 2 seconds. Then we're going to come down, again, clear display. Then we're going to do display dot draw circle. Let's draw circles a little bit different. So what this is, is these first two numbers here say where the center of the circle is. So what we're going to do is we're going to say where the center of the circle is, and then we're going to say what the radius of the circle will be. So we're going to go 63 across. So we're going to go to the 63rd, or actually it's the 64th position, right? 63 is actually the 64th position. So we're going to go on the x-axis to the middle of the screen, and then we're going to go down to the 32nd position, which is the middle of the screen for height. So 63 across, 31 down, or and we are going to make a radius of 20. And so that will create a circle for us. And then we are going to print that out in white again. Then we're going to use display, display, delay for two seconds. Then we're going to do the triangle. So we're going to clear to the display again. Then we're going to do display, draw triangle function. So with the draw triangle function, we then need to give three different coordinates. So this is the top coordinate. This is the left coordinate, and this is the right coordinate. And then it will draw lines in between. So we want to go uh, to uh, position 63. So this is 64 across. So this is the middle of the screen. And then we want to be on the first Y of the middle of the screen. So basically, it's going to print on the first pixel in the middle of the screen. So that's where the top of the triangle will be. Then we'll go to the first position all the way down to the bottom corner of the screen, so the 64th position, 63. So this will be on the bottom left-hand corner. And then we are going to go to the bottom right-hand corner, and so that'll be 127, so that's 128th position across. And then 63, which means 64 positions down, so that'll be the bottom of the right corner. And then we will again print out in white. We're then going to use the display function to print this out on the display. And so that's the basic the, the, the basic shapes that we will we be printing it with this particular project. Then the next thing that I want to do is I want to show you how to layer these shapes on top of each other uh, so that you can get some kind of user interface design if you decide to do that for your particular project. And so with this, one of the things you'll notice is that we only call clear display once. So we clear display so we are going to delete the triangle up here and then we're going to draw these things all on top of each other so the first thing we're going to do is display dot draw rect so we're drawing the rectangle at the second position uh, on the x axis the second position on the y axis so basically uh, the second position over the second position down and then again we're doing that width thing so we're going to do display width minus two display height minus two and so that will give us a rectangle and we're going to print that in white and then display dot display so we're actually going to be printing that to the oled uh, screen and then we're going to delay for 2000 milliseconds two, two seconds then what we're going to do is we're going to create a filled rectangle. So you can fill a rect creates a filled rectangle. And so for this, basically we're actually going to be plugging in all the numbers here. So we're going to go to 10 on the x-axis. So this means 11 positions over, 10 on the y-axis, 11 positions down. So 11 positions over, 11 positions down. That will be the starting point for this rectangle. Then we want a width of 107. So this means it'll go 107 pixels across and 44 pixels down. And so what this is going to do is this is going to give us a, a nice little filled rectangle in the middle of our screen. And we're going to print that out in white. Then we're going to print to the display. Then we're going to delay for 2,000 milliseconds, two seconds. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is within this filled rectangle, within this filled rectangle. So we have the first rectangle 
at 1, 1, so that's the largest rectangle. Then we have a filled in rectangle that starts at 10, 10, so this is smaller, so this one is in, inside the first rectangle. And then we're going to draw another rectangle, display dot draw rect, so this is just a normal rectangle, at the uh, 21st position over, 21st position down, and we're gonna make this 87 pixels in width, 24 pixels in height, and we're actually going to print this out in black. Because remember, this is a filled rectangle. So a filled rectangle, everything inside that rectangle is going to be white. So in order to print something on top of the filled in rectangle, it would have to be black for people to be able to see it. So we're going to print out the black. Then we're gonna do display dot, uh, display, dot display function. So this all gets printed out. That finishes our little animation. Then we're going to delay for 2000 milliseconds, two seconds, and then it will all loop through again. So with that, let me plug in the, uh, the, uh, the, the project, upload the code, and I'll show you how this works. Okay, so I've uploaded the code, so let me plug this in, and I'll show you how this works. So we have our line, then we have our rectangle, then we have our circle, then we have our triangle, then we have the, the first rectangle, the filled in rectangle, and then the third rectangle inside. And so as you can see here, this is how you can use these different shapes that you can draw to the screen to create a user interface that your users would find valuable. So with this, not only can you draw shapes on top of each other, but you could also draw text. So when you're looking at uh, the, uh, the little animation thing where we add these different rectangles, so down here, you could use that final rectangle as a border and actually put text inside of it. So basically, this is really all there is uh, to being able to draw shapes on an OLED screen. You can go in, you can tweak with the code, you can play around with it. Just realize the important thing is that you can have multiple shapes on the screen at the same time. So you have multiple shapes, you can have multiple layers of text, and just whatever you find useful for your users. Now again, you will notice with this particular OLED screen, there are two colors here. This is not something that I can code for. So with this OLED screen, the top bit is yellow and the bottom bit is blue. So as far as the screen is concerned, that is all white. So the yellow is white and the blue is white. It's just simply where you tell the line or the text to be drawn on the screen. That's the color that'll show up. So just keep that in mind whenever you're using one of these monochrome screens. Because I, I know that with some people be like, but Eli, Eli, I can't say white because my screen is blue. It's like, yeah, no, but as far as the code is concerned, it's, it's white. <laughs> as far as the code is concerned, it's white. So that's all there is uh, to being able to draw these, uh, these different uh, shapes onto your screen. And so now you've learned yet another OLED trick. So again, with these OLEDs, these, they're really great for the Arduino projects because not only can you write or print text to them, but you can do shapes and bitmap images and all kinds of other fancy stuff. Uh, much like a web uh, designer would design a web page to make it uh, easier for users to be able to interact with, you can design the user experience, user interface on an OLED screen for your Arduino to make Make it easier for users too. Again, with a lot of uh, technology professionals, they think, "Hey, all I have to do is, you know, print out print out some stuff on a screen, and the users will be able to know what the hell to do with it." Really, in the real world, being able to create good user experiences will make everybody happier, right? If you've got a whole bunch of numbers or a whole bunch of information on the screen, literally just, just drawing a border, just drawing a box around whatever number is most important, that can be very useful to the end user. Uh, remember, you as the person that are creating this project, you know everything that's going on with this project, you know what's supposed to happen, you know what shouldn't happen. So when you look at the screen, it's very easy for you to intuit what you're seeing. Remember, when you put all of this into a box and then you hand it to an end user to put into a production environment, they don't know any of that. They just know 
something's being printed out on the screen and they probably should do something about that, but they're not really sure what to do. So by doing simple things like, again, like putting little borders and, and frames and that type of thing on your, your the screen of your Arduino project, that can make life a hell of a lot easier for your end users. So that's, that's really what there is uh, to drawing shapes on these OLED screens. Uh, there are different shapes that, that you can do. So you can do some like rounded corner things. Uh, you can go and you can do some Google searches about the different types of shapes uh, that you can draw onto a screen. Again, if you're de dealing with different libraries, so if there's a particular type of shape that you have to draw onto an OLED screen, you may use need a different library than what I showed you, so you may have to do a Google search on that. Uh, so this just gives you a basic overview of how you draw shapes, and then from here, you can go, you can play with it, you can see what other libraries are available, and go from there. So, as always, I enjoyed doing this video, and look forward to seeing you at the next one.